space, the final frontier. It's not just about who gets there first anymore. It's about who does it best, smarter, and benefits all humankind. And that's where India is stepping up. So, what is it about India that has them poised to become a major player in the future of space exploration? I am Pranay, and today we're about to take a deep dive into India's cosmic ambitions. In August 2023, India landed Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's south pole. This wasn't just about planting a flag, it was about landing in a region teeming with potential. A place where frozen water ice could hold the key to future lunar bases, rocket fuel, and even sustaining human life beyond Earth. In 2014, India set its sights on the red planet with the Mars Orbiter mission. Mangalyan. It was a technological marvel and a statement. We're here, we're exploring, and we're doing it our way. The data Mangalyan sent back revolutionized our understanding of the Martian atmosphere. It proved that you don't need a billion dollar budget to make groundbreaking discoveries in space. India's Aditya L1 mission is parked at Lagrange Point 1, monitoring solar activity. It's like having a cosmic weatherman, making sure we're prepared for whatever the sun throws our way. Gaganyaan, India's human spaceflight program, is set to launch soon, joining the exclusive club of nations that have sent humans into space. Next up, we're headed to Venus with Shukrayan-1. Venus is a planet of extremes with a thick, toxic atmosphere and surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. This spacecraft is designed to pierce through Venus's dense clouds and unlock the secrets hidden beneath. It's going to study the planet's atmosphere, map its surface, and search for signs of volcanic activity. Mangalyaan 2 is on its way. This time, India's packing even more advanced instruments to study the red planet in greater detail. It's all part of India's long-term vision for space exploration. India's got plans for their very own space station by 2035. It's about providing a platform for international collaboration and scientific advancement. Chandrayaan-4 might just involve a lunar sample return, bringing back souvenirs from the moon's south pole. India's greatest strength is their ability to do more with less. Chandrayaan-3, for example, was completed on a budget of just $75 million. It's a testament to their resourcefulness. India's launch vehicles, like the PSLV and GSLV MK3, have a stellar track record. These rockets are the backbone of India's space program, and they're only getting better with each launch. India's space program is pushing the boundaries of exploration and inspiring the world with its ingenuity and ambition. Do you think India will lead space exploration in the coming decades? Let us know in the comments. And if you love space content, hit that like and subscribe button because we have a universe to explore together.